Hi guys, uh, before this episode starts, uh, something's wrong with the audio, I don't know what happened and I can't fix it, I'm sure as hell not grinding all those shiny objects again to re-record this episode. It doesn't sound terrible, but you should probably notice a significant decrease in quality in my commentary. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened and I don't know how to fix it. Still, it's still watchable, I hope you enjoy it. Well, thanks for watching. What's going on, my name is Chris, and welcome back to another and the f probably finale of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last episode, we finished off SpongeBob Dream, and then I promised I'd grind for shiny objects off stream, and you'll never guess what I did exactly that. <laughs> I'm going to show you exactly what I did because there is not a whole lot of good things to do out there, unfortunately. Hold on, the, the game's a little loud. I don't want to pick up on the mic, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. There we go. I don't speak. Oh shit, was that the last time we hit? Dang it! Only find my other I thought I had ten more socks. It's on your head, remember? No, it's oh, not. Of course. Now where did I put it? On your head! The final Patrick sock. Okay, so shine grinding shiny object in this game sucks a lot and it takes forever and I hate it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna show you um, exactly what I did, uh, but first I'm gonna show you what doesn't work anymore. Okay, we're back here, and we're gonna bop those up real quick. It's even gone now? No way. Okay, this is actually news to me as well. All right, so in the original game, there would be lightning down here. We're in the lighthouse, if you don't know, in, in downtown Bikini Bottom. And normally, all you have to do is stand right here, and like that also splash. wouldn't happen. You wouldn't get splash damage. And what would happen is the robots would just walk into the lightning, and then the duplicator charms would continually spawn them forever. These dudes also used to not be able to destroy them. So essentially, this this used you used to just be able to stand still, then just put your controller down and come back like uh, 45 minutes or so, depending on how much you need, obviously. And then you would have enough shiny objects. That doesn't work anymore, and I was pretty angry about that because this is really the only like decent shiny object grinding spot in the game. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys what does work. Okay, so um, I just teleported to the. Um, I teleport to Fidu Sea Caves, turn around and walk outside, and you'll see there's a bunch of um, keys here. And then, and then you do this and shoot this. This is the method that was used quite often in speedruns and such. Uh, it's all right. I, I'm not the biggest fan of it, mostly because the cruise missile sucks, and then you just die, and it spawns you right back to where um, I was when I started this clip. This method gets you around 700 to 800 shiny objects per go. Okay, the next method I use is I actually teleport to Jellyfish Fields to Mrs. Puff right here, and then uh, these are no, these are my idea by the way. These are all uh, other people's ideas. Um, this part doesn't actually matter as much because we're, we're actually going to be going to a checkpoint. Uh, I'm just starting here because this is where it teleports you to. But I will fuck these shiny objects as I go. Of course. Also, tar tar bots take two hits with a normal attack, but one with a bowling ball, I, a bubble ball. I noticed that, so I would highly suggest using that to your advantage. Don't try to attack them twice because they have, you know, they, they have times where they won't. Okay, so there's a checkpoint. So we already pass it? No, we're about to get it in a second. Did we pass it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so uh, here's the checkpoint, right? And here's where the actual area starts. So all you do. Let's go over here. Let's see, four, eight point one k shiny objects right now, and then you just kind of casually destroy everything. Uh -huh. And I like to shoot this guy from over here. Sometimes that happens, and that's just real bad luck. Of course, of course, it gets stuck in the grass. Um, just blow everything up as you go, really. Like and uh, once again, I got this from a video. If you just look up top five ways to get shiny objects, you, you should be able to find it. Then I go up here and hit this. That's where you get the majority of shiny objects. And one thing the the video I was talking about doesn't show is I actually like to go over here because this gets you an additional uh, 100 shiny objects. So and I blow this up. I think it's worth the time um, to do that. And then you just kill yourself. So <laughs> and then it'll spawn you at that checkpoint and you do it all over again. And the final method I like to use is I teleport to Sand Mountains, Guppy Mounds, Cool Lake, and I just you literally just go down the cliff. <laughs> and that's really it. And just. You don't want to try to avoid this Thunder Tiki's because they give you a lot of shiny objects. You actually want to hit them on purpose and just try to destroy as many Tiki's as physically possible. Then you just make your way down the slide. You are going to die at some point. Hit this button if you can because it will actually get you a free hit because there's Thunder Tiki's right there that will blow up. Excellent. 
And essentially, I just I just kind of rotated through all three of these methods. I did Sand Mountain for a little bit, then I went to um, uh, 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 Jellyfish Fields, and then I came here. And that honestly is the only way to keep yourself sane. If you do all, if you try to do just one method, and you'll also see the checkpoint there, so you'll die, and then you just continue down the slide, and then once you get to the end, you just go back up and start all, all over again. So if you really want to stay sane, I highly recommend you just shift, sift through these three sections. They all get around about the same amount. It is going to suck because of these terrible loading screens. If you have the PC version, you made the right decision because it'll make it'll make uh, grinding for shiny objects in this game a hell of a lot easier and not make you want to pull your hair out like it did for me. Um, so, yeah, just just really hit all the Thunder Tiki's possible and, yep, and just hit everything. Don't care about damage because, I mean, you don't, it doesn't matter about dying. You're the, Literally, the entire point is to get shiny objects, right? And so that's my methods. Those are the three methods I use that seem to be the worst. They could all probably use some tweaking, so feel free to, you know, just experiment and... Okay. okay. <laughs> that was supposed to get those shish tikis, but fine. And then you teleport the box, and it brings you right to the top, and you do it all over again. I did find this method to be a little bit faster overall, but I didn't do any math to figure out exactly how fast they all are. So if you want my recommendation of just the fastest way, I believe this is the fastest way. Okay, so if you want to get all the Mr. Krabs specials, you need 108,000 shiny objects. I have extras. Sorry, I, 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 you have to like mash the ZR button multiple times to get this pop up, and it always confuses me. So let's talk to him. Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's yes. quality craftsmanship. That is. That is. Come again. Cool. And we're gonna do what we do with Patrick. I'm just. Wait, I can't. What? I was gonna so, spam. Oh, there we go. Let's see how many of these I can get up. Well, so 12,000. So that. What if I don't have enough? <laughs> that really sucks. Yep. And it goes up 3,000 every time, I guess, right? 21, so it should be 24. Do you want yeah, 24 x So I wasn't sure if my math was right. I wasn't sure if I was dumb or not. The only good robot me them shiny objects. Oh, look at all them spatulas. 98. Look at that. Looky, looky. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um. And I also have uh, a bunch of extra, 46,000 extra. I only need 40,000 more, but just showing you guys how to get those shiny objects, um, obviously, kind of showed. So I've asked you over here. Hello, sir. May I help you? One movie ticket, my good man. Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. Um, so let's go in here. I'm really curious what this is going to be like, because uh, in the original game, um, this was all art. And apparently it's not that anymore, or maybe it is, but it's not as good. I don't know. Oh, just screenshots from the game? Spoilers. What? It was concept art in the original game. Why would they get rid of the- They should have at least just put the concept art back, man. How long- did, Would this take like five minutes for them to do? Uh oh, what should we do for the movie theater? Um, that's it? That is terrible. Hey, there's a fish here. That sucks so much! I see why that's an issue. For 40,000 shiny objects, this is all you get. At least concept art is interesting. That's not interesting. I can literally go see that if I want right now. I like how those the children masks. They're scary. I don't like them. And here I was thinking maybe I should do a bonus episode to show the boat saying the shiny objects instead of putting them at the end of this episode. But now that I've actually uh, done them, yeah, I'm really happy I didn't do that because that was not worth the time at all. Holy crap. They serve food here, yes. But they don't serve love. True, SpongeBob. True. What a what a scholar and a gentleman you are. All right, let's enter Plankton's lab. I forgot what it was called for a second. That wasn't paused for dramatic effect. I'm just stupid. <laughs> Look at that guy. With that big square head and those short shorts. That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. Wait. That hideous thing looks like me. I always knew SpongeBob would be the death of me. Jump in, jelly beans. A robot SpongeBob. There's definitely something funny going on here. And I don't mean you. Something else funny. Plankton, <gasps> you're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time. Behold, the Duplicatotron. I registered the name, so don't even think you're ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh, I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton! Ugh. 
<gasps> no! He's a genius! What's wrong now? It should be working. It is working. They're obeying me. I knew I shouldn't have made a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute. You've interfered with my plan for the last time. SpongeBob meets SpongeBob. Hi. Aye, aye, aye. Oh my god. So I was always kind of confused why the heck is Squidward here? It looks like SpongeBob uh, has an opportunity here. Sandy and Patrick, Sandy they're playable characters. Sponge Squidward's Bob. the only playable character that's here that doesn't like make sense to be here, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, you just you wait for him to attack and then you do this. It's pretty easy, squeezy, lemon squeezy. And robot mountain. Oh, jeez, that goes a lot faster than. Oh god, okay. Uh, it would be nice if you healed the game, but okay, fine. He shoots fast, dude. Oh no, those are hard to see, too. What the heck are those animations? Those look broken, do they not? Why would the game not heal you? What the hell, dude? For the final boss, they expect you to heal yourself. What is this? Oh, I think this is new. I don't think, we, I think this is just a. Uh, I don't think we had any of this, 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 these bottom spots before. Uh, yeah, I got him. All right. Okay. Uh -huh. That seems a little bit delayed. It looks like um, you can actually ground pound his, his hot. I didn't know this like for the first little while I played, but yeah, you can destroy him that way, which I thought was very funny. Mm, yeah, it's funny indeed. Oh shit, what are we doing? Oh, no, you fool! Wait, I can still do it! Nice. Yeah, I sure do think, thank you, uh, Fishman Erhard, what the hell your name is. Johnny Erhard. Let's see if this still works. No, you can't do it. You used to just be able to like, jump real high or something and then be able to just not even move. But alas, I'm a low work, no vor. It looks like SpongeBob has an opportunity here. So you can also hit these switches using That's the bubble the floor as well, but I mean it's kinda of more fun to do it that way to be honest. You do actually have enough time to hit Plankton here. Yes! Before he starts attacking. You did it in the original game! Karate! Can you do it again? No! I want you to do that again, SpongeBob. SpongeBob! I gotta be careful here. I don't have any more health to really use our food. No! Speaking of being careful. Yes, the fish entity indeed. He does make the cool robot noise so. Except not the second time. Of course it's broken. I would expect nothing less of this game if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> uh, ridiculous. Without him. What? How does he do it? Oh, uh, I might die here. I can't believe I'm gonna die in the final boss. Let's do it this way. Okay. Okay. Let's go for these bottom ones, because his arm gets in the way. Did that didn't count? Oh, fuck. I might be fucked. about where you were. You might have only had two health left. I'm not too sure, but... Okay, bad start to come back to. <laughs> I kind of noticed if you just run to the right, you can actually just kind of avoid all the attacks. You can almost just ignore them completely. It's really silly. Um, you can even, like, jump once instead of jump twice to, like, save some time as well in case, like, you're in, the, in a dire situation. But you gotta make the jump a little bit more accurate. Um, let's see if we can hit this ball, shall we? I don't, I don't know what I'm hitting there. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why these are so hard. They're so finicky. I guess because he's just standing at an angle. Also, I noticed if you, uh, when, when Robot Plankton steps in, if you just attack him quickly, he, you could beat him before he attacks. In the original game, I don't think you could do that. Or you could, but it was a hell of a lot more difficult. Oof. 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 Okay, here we go. Are you kidding me, dude? Alright, let's go for this top one. It doesn't look like it should hit, okay? 
Should I go for that underwear? Let's go for that underwear. May as well. I feel like a Roll new point to take a thousand years to charge up his laser. You try your best, dude. <laughs> ah! He ate him! <laughs> no! Ah, oh, what? Come on, dude. Alright, try my my old technique of just running to the right again. My old thousand year technique. Wait, Robot Plank didn't try to attack me this time. He should be right now, to be honest. Oh my god, dude! If I die again, I swear to god. My finger's slipping off the control stick. I better not die again. This should be easy as hell. Alright, let's, let's do this. If you do this, I know this might be better. <laughs> the sound effect's very good. Outstanding. Uh, careful. I'm actually kind of stressed right now. If you couldn't tell. Here we go. Oh, come on. That counted. Yes. Excellent. That's it. We're done now. Just kidding. He's dead now. Oh, no, I'm dead, too! When they added in, or when, when this game was being developed, like the rehydrated version, they talked about re adding in old content. Muscle Arm SpongeBob was actually supposed to be an entire part of the boss fight, so um, he's not. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I don't know why they didn't add that section in. That would have been nice, but they didn't, and that's kind of disappointing. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is very pretty. There's more cogs and stuff in here. This is very empty before. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay, let's try that again. I don't know why I don't heal you. I don't think like, there's no point to not. <clears throat> It'd be nice if they did. All right, let's try to do this. Fuck off! No! Oh my god! It's going horribly. <laughs> okay. Did I break it? Oh, hello. I didn't think you'd appear now. I don't think you appeared till later. He also wasn't shooting very long either. Also, I was much farther away. This platform seems massive. Just another trampoline down there. So there's all these Sometimes fuses here. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, now, there's push, something push, I did push. hear about here. I'm gonna be really curious if it actually happens or not. Rush. Oh shit! Not gonna have time. Uh, oh shit! Oh god! Come on, shoot! Good. Please, no G love. Yes, got it. Woo! Okay, no touchy. Oh shit. Oh, we did it in time, I think. Now where's the penny grenade? Oh shit. Oh, I did tip. Dang it. Oh man, you cheater. Wait, is he celebrate? That's funny. <laughs> That's a new animation. That's really silly. That's really silly. Oh, I feel like he spin a lot faster. It's kind of hard to do anything. Not do anything, but. Trampolines. Uh, I do like this, like slowly destroying the inside of the rope. It doesn't feel very boss-like to me, though. You know, it's more like a like a trial to survive, which is fine. But I don't like. I almost would have liked to fight Muscle Bob or something like that. I think that might have been a lot more fun, maybe. Waters. Okay, can you chill, chill, chill? I don't know if that can fully charge or not. Oh, I had it. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh god, dude. Is this good? I don't know how... Oh, that was it. Oh, well dead. Anyways, all right. Time to try something here. Oh, yeah, look at this. So, <laughs> another thing a lot of people don't like about this remake is they added in checkpoints to the last part of the game. When you died in this, you had to start all over again. And... This is something I think I kind of don't want. I'm I don't I'm kind of a little mixed on it because I don't like it. Like 
But like this boss was kind of a pain in the ass, I'll be honest. Um, to start all over every time you fail does really suck. But I mean, it's a final boss, so it's not supposed to be like a walk in the park. So overall, I, I don't like, I guess, that they did this. But I'm also not too butthurt about it, I guess, is also a Can you die, please? Oh, me! Come on! Come on, little buddies! Just trying varying amounts of bubble bowl power here. Alright, where are you at, Plankton? I'm sure he probably appears in the same spot every time. Let's get Yeah! <laughs> he takes too long to fire, dude. I wonder where he goes. Probably would spawn just off camera. Whoa, dude. You're supposed to use the, that ground pound there. But I'm pretty sure you can just attack it normally as well. Whee! So we use sub trap leads. Let me use all of them. Alright, I think those are snot. Uh oh. Shoot. Shoot. Say hello to my it took way too long. He's gonna spawn more hammers. Nope, there they come. Yes. Yeah. I Woo! Honestly. Come on, fire. Fire away. The whole challenge of this in the original game was one easy mistake and you have to start all over. But, I mean, there is no one easy mistake. I mean, there is, but there's not really much... There's not really anything bad that happens from your one little mistake, you know? You die, but then, oh no, it just doesn't really matter because they just put you right back. Let's see what happens when you go away. Where does he go? I thought he was invisible for a second. Oh, he actually sticks around. Where's he going? Hello? <laughs> Is he gonna stop? Okay, he goes He goes through the metal into Sponge, Rubble SpongeBob's brain thing. A heart thing. I don't really know, to be honest. This is a little bit annoying. Good. Gotty. Oh, I thought that was a ramp. I didn't know they connected. Woo! It feels weird you can walk on the trampolines in this game. I don't know. Like, it makes sense you can walk on it if you don't jump on it, but still, this feels weird, man. Alright, where are you at, Plankton? So you really want to get him ASAP, yep. Or otherwise, you gotta dodge on this tiny ass platform. But he takes so long. He takes so long to uh, fire. Also, he doesn't fire for long at all. The original game, he fires for like maybe even triple the length of that. When he goes away, too. See, in the original game, he doesn't go away. He stays, and if you're not quick enough, he'll attack you again. So that's lame. Also, in the original game, if you step on these trampolines in a weird way, it'll actually glitch you out and it'll throw you off the level and you'll die. You'll die. Got him. All right. We're we really about to beat this already. We're not even at 20 minutes yet, or we might be. Depends how well I cut this all up, but and I kind of mess up the timer! This, just, this might be a very bad idea. <laughs> you might be right behind me. I'm very curious if I don't even spawn me if I die right now. Okay, got it. But yeah, you'll have to kill what, what the hell, dude! And once again, the original game, if you miss, like I just did, you gotta start all over again. Plankton freak. Alright, I might be dead here. Yep, I'm dead. Fuck. Ready for another fantastic day. It even saved which ones you've destroyed already? Are you kidding me? Oh my, come on, dude. There is no... Yeah, that's kind of why I kind of died, like, just went for it there. Because why not? He's gonna probably hit me. Why not, man? There's no risk at all. There we go. That's it. We're done. Wow. All right, well, that was a bit unrewarding, I think. Not un not, 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 not gains? Wait, what's the word I'm looking for here? Not satisfying? Not as satisfying. Silly SpongeBob, you don't have ears. Pay attention, they come out from behind SpongeBob somehow. SpongeBob, you did it! What do you do? What? Oh, um, yeah. Oh, my plan! Ruined! That does it, I'm becoming a lawyer.
I think the voices are a little out of sync here. Is that ice cream? Get some ice cream first. Well, I thought she was a squirrel. I'm being punished. I don't know for what, but I'm being punished. There's still work to be done out there. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy wouldn't stop, and neither will I. We can't rest until Bikini Bottom is safe. All he does is rub his nose. I just thought it was a weird end to it. Why is he randomly smile and rub his nose for? Why is this scene still going on for? What the hell, dude? <laughs> so, that is the end of the game, I think, right? Is there any other special scenes? Oh, there's this. Which I might have to mute out. I mean, you could probably guess what's going on here. The scene, the SpongeBob theme. I'm just going to keep talking. I kind of have to, because if it picks up on the theme song, I might get dinged for copyright. Might be, should be copyright claim. That's why I don't care about copyright claims. But if I get a copyright strike, my channel is at risk of being permanently deleted forever and ever. Oh man. So I'm going to keep talking. It's weird seeing King Neptune like that. I'm so used to his movie form. Oh no, SpongeBob's having a seizure. <coughs> what do I do? <coughs> oh no, I'm dying. Oh, no, why the upskirt shot, dude? Oh no. Yay, it's beautiful. And once again, the original game, it wasn't actually just the theme song played over. I'm pretty sure they, they did like a different rendition of the SpongeBob theme song. So it's kind of lame. They just went, yeah, well, let's throw the theme song on there. We'll dub in the audio. And that's it. <laughs> Yay! So that SpongeBob, or that theme song we saw, is actually a reward for getting this game to 100%. It allows you just right from that um, cutscene, it'll just cut right to this. They redid this, did they? It seems it's a lot darker in here. I'm not really a fan of it being dark. I mean, it's 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 the end of the game. It's supposed to be happy, go lucky, lucky, not sadness. Once again, though, I like that you can jump in SpongeBob form. Can we still see Mime, Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime? So the beginning of this let's play, I said by the end of this let's play, I'd have a date for the race that me and Matt are doing. Um, at the time of recording this, I unfortunately do not have said dates, <laughs> so um, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm trying to work stuff out here. Um, there will be announcements on this channel. It will be, it will definitely be happening after you guys see this episode. So even though I'm recording, I'm actually recording this on July, what's today? 8th. I'm recording this on July 8th. So it's been a, uh, it's going to be a little bit before this episode even comes out. Um, so hopefully I'll have a date by then. And maybe if I do, I'll even edit it in right here. Um, but for now, I don't really have any news, but there will be an announcement on the channel. I'll post like a video. <laughs> And then once I do that, um, you guys will know. And then uh, the plan is, though, we'll be racing this on Twitch. And then I'll be uh, cutting it into 30-minute sections and posting it every Saturday or something like that on this channel. So This is Future Chris coming in with a shocking new bulletin. Uh, I am recording this far on July 16th. The race will be on July 26th, starting at 10 a.m., uh, central time so there'll be still an official announcement but I want to update anyone that is watching this that's when the race will be uh, July 26th at 10 a.m. central time hope to see you there love you um, I, this seems a lot more I don't know this, I don't really know what's going on here um, how do I get to places how do I get to places this way my mom's very cheap but anyways i really enjoyed this you guys i didn't think i would like really enjoy recording let's plays anymore but i actually really thought this was a lot of fun um i don't know if i'll ever do this again though <laughs> if you guys have any suggestions for uh maybe something you'd like to see me let's play 
Um, doesn't have to be a SpongeBob game, doesn't have to be anything like specific, doesn't even have to be Nintendo. But if you guys have any suggestions on maybe something you'd love to see me play still, so feel free to, uh, you know, make, make a comment. That was a terrible animation. <laughs> And um, I'll definitely take into consideration. Oh, come on. I have to make it up there. I'll definitely take into consideration because maybe like a let's play every once in a while wouldn't be such a bad thing. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this. It's been it's been really fun. This really did feel this is a very nostalgic time for me. Um, I didn't expect. Like I said, I didn't really expect to be enjoying this, but I sure did. Well, I sure did. It seemed, we didn't seem like torch like that, dude. Is he just itching himself? Yuck. I do like this ending course, so it's fine. It's a bit weird. <laughs> Also, in the original game, um, what would happen once you did this? Um, this is where you would unlock the Sponge Ball in Bikini Bottom. Before this, there is no Sponge Ball in Bikini Bottom. How do I get out of here? It's supposed to be an end somewhere. I don't think it's just there, is it? Yeah, that just leads back over there. Where's the end? Do we just go to where we began? Oh, there it is. Finish line. Or start line. <laughs> okay. Is there a finish line? Do I just go to the other end of the, the, the station? I love what games do this, by the way. They give you a little game at the end to play while the credits roll. That's cool. Especially like what they did in this one. I think it's supposed to be here, no? Leave. Okay. Wait, can I just leave anywhere? No. I sure can. Was, has that been there the whole time? <laughs> Am I this big of a fool? Probably. We do have one last thing to do, and that's check out the police station. And I actually almost forgot. Um, I j it just popped in my mind like a minute ago that, oh yeah, I go do the police station. So that would have sucked to forget. I mean, maybe not. I mean, does anyone really care? Probably not. Okay, I'm back. Um, now that we've uh, seen every enemy in the game, we'll check this out. And yeah, we actually can't do this until after we beat the final boss, see the last thing. So let's play it. All right, fire. Nifty electrical tough attack. Not tall enough to ride most roller coasters, but more vicious than a pack of rabbit clams. G Love has the most vicious smack attack. Hands down, expert foot massager. Lemon squeezer does the lifeful hand puppet shows. Chuck, the non missile tag likes to throw tantrums and other various military grade ordnance. Ordnance? Uh, or ordin ordnance. Not terrible friendly. Bomb bot. Bot follow you, go boot. This is just the boot to get the friend you like the least. Orf. Oh, this here's one mean varmint. Packs us. 4.5 caliber cat crusher. Most powerful dog I has ever made. Oh, wow, outstanding. Hammer. Ah! Impressive meat by product attack. Smarter than it looks. Goes well with broccoli and nice Ch Chianti? I don't know what that is. I think we're actually supposed to go up and down like this. Whoops. Um, tartar. Uncanny flying tartar sauce attack. Smells somewhat better than stale fish. That's weird that you gotta go wank wank and then go all the way up here. The wank wank. Monsoon. Shocking electrical attack. Rather sensitive. Reads poetry, likes plants, and enjoys zapping wandering denizens. Sure do. Oh, this weird eye. Sleep time. Mostly harmless, unless woken, somewhat moody, likes to express himself by blasting everything inside or finger painting. <laughs> we don't have no fingers. Too bled. Comes in tree trees. Tre th comes in threes or in six packs with a coupon. Inexplicable jello attack. Stays crunchy even in milk. You all have cereal. Slick. Disgusting oil blob attack. Doesn't wear underwear. Bathe very regularly. Just the kind of robot your mother warned you about, kids. But lemon scented gamma ray attacks. Somewhat unpredictable. Borrows money without returning and blasts things at random. Why is he flipping out for? Good lord. Oh, he has a switch on him. Uh, chomp bot. Somewhat unstable critter. Beware his stinky doggy breath. Likes to chew toys and random citizens and mimes. See, I don't know why this guy's down here, though, because you see this in Downtown Bikini Bomb, one of the first levels. Uh, Arf Dog. Pesky little critter. Bites a hand that feeds it. Impressive array of tricks. Fetches sponges. Chases squirrels. Spontaneously combusts. Nothing about. Patrick Stars. Plankton. Plankton is the finest model citizen. I know he likes helping people singing, hacking computers. Uh, never mind the last bit. Plankton's the best! <laughs> and that's it. Oh, yep, 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 yep. So, we are nearing 30 minutes here. I'm going to just talk to his loading screen because why not? In fact, the bikini bottom loading screens aren't going to be too bad. I really, like, thank you guys so much for watching this. This has been a lot of fun. Um, like I said, I really enjoy doing this. Uh, I don't know what's next. Follow me on Twitch. That's where I upload, or that's where I do the most these days. Um, I also have a, 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 a another channel called Unoriginally Chris without the LPS on the end. So just Unoriginally Chris on YouTube where I post more edited content. So if you're interested in that, check that out. Um, I guess that's all I really have to plug. You can join my Discord. Uh, that'll be in the links down below in the description as well as follow me on Twitter if you want. That's also in the description. And... Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, the loading screen. I deal with that the whole game, you guys. The whole game. Um, I guess there's no better spot to end than where we began. And that's not going to a loading screen because that, oh, that's too annoying. We'll just stand in front of the house. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all very, 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 very much. This may be very well be the last Let's Play I ever, ever, ever do. So I hope you liked it. Um, I hope it was as special to you as it was to me. SpongeBob is floating in the air. I mean, is it? Is it really? Is it? Is it not fitting to end like this on a glitch? <laughs> oh, good God! I love this game. I'm doing a review on it as well. That'll come after this. Um, if you want my overall thoughts, I loved it, but Jesus Christ, man, this was not this game was not ready to come out. <clears throat> I'll talk to you guys later. Whatever you choose to watch of me next. Don't be a stranger. Bye-bye. <laughs>